Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you some clan wars. I know you guys are like, whoa, Beak, you never show clan wars. What's up, bro? No, I always show clan wars, but today is going to be a little different. We're going to show easy to three star bases. Last war, I hit a couple real easy bases and I was like, wow, these are so easy. I don't even want to show them, but I do want to show them because I want to show you guys why they were so easy. And they're Town Hall 10s, you know, it's not like it's easy to just stomp it with any army. You do need a good army, but they're easy because of the layout. This layout here would be like an anti go wipe or go wee wee layout, but that's going to make it real vulnerable to this air attack here, because as you can see, once we take out the top defenses on the top right and the top left, everything else is right in the center around the Town Hall, and we're just going <laughs> to bust it all open real quick here. Notice how all the defenses at the top of this big compartment, it's just defenses packed in there in, w in one group, so we can freeze half of them and then just blow over the rest with our balloons in rage spells. So this is what you want to look for guys. A lot of these anti go wee wee go white bases are going to be very vulnerable to this style of attack just like I did it there. You're going to go in with you know a golem and your heroes or maybe even two golems and you're going to wipe out a couple defenses. The archer queen, an air defense and the enemy clan castle and then it's just smooth sailing and you can use anywhere from three to four uh, lava hounds and about 20 balloons and boom it's like that. I mean this was a two minute raid. Come on! I mean, this guy's, you know, he got smashed. He got absolutely smashed. Of course, I'm number two in my clan, and he's number 34 in his clan. But still, this dude's a Town Hall 10. It's not like I was stomping on a Town Hall 7 here, you know? So, there it is, guys. That's the army I keep preaching about, but that's what you want to use. And go up against those easy bases to get wins for your clan. We're going to show the other raid I did, which was against an equally low-level base. I think this next one had, like, uh, level some level 7 walls in it. This dude at least had all black walls, which kind of makes a base look better, you know? Like, even if it's sort of premium, if it has all black walls, you're like, oh, it's not bad, right? But this one, this dude actually has good defenses, but he has those purple walls, so we're like, oh, he's not that high level. But, you know, some of his defenses are all right. So we're going to go in here with a golem and the arch queen, a few wizards. And get that archer queen. She's going to die. All right, so I put in my wall breaker slowly there. You'll notice I do that because people always put spring traps on the obvious locations where you might enter with wall breakers. So be careful of that, guys. You always want to bring at least one extra wall breaker. I try to bring three because I need two. Sometimes one gets springed. So here we go, guys. We're in there. We got the air defense already because it was in such an easy spot. Now the Archer Queen is going to get some bonus defenses like that Expo. But those were really just bonuses. We could have taken this all out with our air troops. So even if I had like a level 15 Queen and level 15 King, I probably could have done this easily still. It's really all about the troops uh, for me. You know, having the max troops is the biggest help. The heroes are just a bonus. All you really need to do with the strategy I do is get in there, take out one air defense, and the enemy arch queen and the clan castle as i always say so here again guys notice how all these defenses are bunched up around the town hall that's really what you want to look for these anti go wee wee go white bases all the defenses are back to back near the town hall so it's easy to freeze like five defenses like what freezing five defenses at once you can't beat that and then putting a rage spell down and boom you're through it that quick you know, so look out for that, guys. These type of bases that are almost like Southern Teaser style bases. They want you to attack from the bottom with a ground army. We're not going to do that. Sorry. Sorry, bro. We're actually going to hit you with an air army and three-star you. So remember that, guys. Look for these easy bases. I think we did each of these raids in like two minutes. We didn't even need the full three minutes, which generally means you trolled somebody real hard. So uh, that was fun, guys. This war was definitely a win. I think we got five three stars, which was great. I got two of them. And, you know, they were all against the easy guys. So it was really just a gimme, easy war. You know, you don't you don't have to go all out in a war like that. You just attack the easy bases and you get the three stars. So, boom, there we go. Still had some Lava Hounds running around. They were still alive. If your Lava Hounds are still alive, you wrecked. You absolutely wrecked. So that was number 33. <laughs> Looks like I attacked 33 and 34, some of the lowest guys in the clan. And I'm the top guy. I'm a bully. Straight up, people call me a bully in the clan, and, you know, it's not like anything to brag about. It's just how you win wars. So, guys, let's check out one more raid I want to show you guys. And this is in normal matchmaking if you're going to use, um, 
you know, uh, a sort of a go lava army to kind of farm or just mess somebody up. Maybe you want to revenge somebody. Obviously, opportune time is when their heroes are sleeping. You can catch people upgrading heroes a lot right there. That's going to make it a lot easier to three star. I uh, chose to do that against this guy right here, and I'm going to take that gold. Another really good part of this base is that, again, his defenses are really bunched up close together. Now, this raid's going to get weird because I wasn't sure if my Archer Queen was going to take that first Inferno or not. Turns out she is going to, but I wasn't sure, so I'm actually going to aim some balloons at it. But if you can get in there and take out one Inferno with your heroes, it's over basically it's over if there's no you know clan castle to deal with all that you know it's gonna be so easy for your troops to get the three star but uh, here we go guys we're gonna start dropping oh look at this dude he had a, he was a tesla troll i didn't even realize this dude has teslas outside his town hall so we're gonna start dropping the balloons and two lava hounds i usually drop two lava hounds at first and as i was saying i put about five balloons aimed over at that first inferno didn't even need them archer queen got it yeah girl you killed it all right let's go in here with the balloons on the other side we're going uh what is that clockwise i had to like do it yeah clockwise around the base and you know we're coming up on that uh second inferno which I actually had two free spells for which was great because the first freeze i used way 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 too early you want to be careful about that guys if you don't have a perfect free spell and you don't have a perfect deployment of your troops you might not get that inferno taken out in time and that's going to screw up your whole raid so you know there because my arch queen got that first inferno made everything else easy and even though i screwed up on that first freeze and my deployment wasn't great boom three stars you know Every time I, I feel like every time I three star somebody in normal matchmaking, they change their base. So uh, after I after I hit this guy up, I checked his base and he didn't change his base. So you know he must have just chalked it up to a random a random event. You know I guess people normally don't go around with this army in, in a normal matchmaking raid. So the balloons, lava pups, and a couple of goblins are gonna go around and clean up. Check it out. I put one goblin on each corner of the base. They tear it up. You want to bring goblins for cleanup. Just just one goblin up there took out like all those pumps and mines and elixir pumps over on the right. Killing it. So there we go, guys. Lava pups, balloons, and uh, one lava hound again. We have one lava hound cleaning up. He doesn't do anything, dude. Lava hound doesn't do any damage on their own. They're good when they turn into the pups, though. So that's it for today, guys. As I said, you want to look for those easy bases when you want a three-star. Sometimes it's just for fun like this, or sometimes it's for clan wars. But generally, you'll have an easy base in that enemy clan that you can just hit up really hard and get the win. Uh, those ones that have really tight defensive layouts where, you know, as I showed you guys, all the defenses are bunched up around the town hall. Perfect, perfect, because you can freeze that inferno and an expo and some Teslas and, you know, everything else around there all at once. So guys, oh yeah, here we go. I, I went to check his base to see if he changed his base and he did not. So <laughs> there you go. I guess he likes the base. <laughs> Anyways, guys, had a lot of fun with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed these replays. If you did, leave me a like and a comment. And if you haven't subscribed already, why haven't you? Please do. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Peace.